use Windows 10, but hate how Microsoft essentially built spyware directly into it, you might use a program like SpyBot Anti-Beacon. SpyBot Anti-Beacon, of course, being one of the best Windows anti-spying programs there is. Essentially, it modifies the registry keys associated with Microsoft's data collection. But if you use a 2-in-1 device, you might have noticed a peculiar problem. And that, of course, being that your rotation lock toggle disappears and that auto-rotate no longer works in tablet mode. However, there is an easy fix, and here's how it works. If we open the program and scroll down, we'll see a section labeled Sensors. This is where the problem lies. The Sensors section disables the sensors from communicating with Windows. However, the auto-rotate sensor is essentially collateral damage, and as a result, because Windows cannot see the sensor, it doesn't think it even exists. And as a result, auto-rotate is gone, doesn't work, and the toggle is missing as well. So how do we fix this? Well, first what you're gonna to wanna to do is click Undo. That's gonna remove all of your immunizations, but we're gonna to need to do that for this step. Next, in order to deselect only one option, you're gonna to wanna to hit Show Options, scroll down again, and deselect Sensors. Now that you've unchecked Sensors, re-immunize, and now reboot your computer. After rebooting your computer, you should now see rotation lock return to your notifications toggles and auto rotate should now work in tablet mode. Again, you're also going to need to make sure to do this every time before you restart your computer or else it will break the functionality again and you'll just have to repeat the process. Again, I know it's a hassle, but still, in my opinion, it's a small price to pay to be able to continue using SpyBot Anti-Beacon. Now I will say, if SpyBot, if you're watching this, being able to divorce the rotation sensor from all the other sensors would be a great addition. Or at the very least, give us an option to uncheck the sensors option without having to do, go through this whole process every time. And basically setting the sensors being unchecked as a default that we can select. Because currently there is no way to make this a permanent option. So every time when the system re-immunizes, sensors gets reselected and I'll have to redo this process. But again guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped you if you have had any issues with your 2-in-1 having a broken rotate function. And if you like this video, give me a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below as always. And if you want to see more, get subscribed.